Question number 16 from the paper 2 of February, March 2020. CIE, Cambridge exams. Solve the simultaneous equations. You must show all your working. Again, this is one of those new topics which um, this would be, we would have been the first paper which had included it. Um, you'll find questions like this in the specimen paper as well. But basically, this is a simultaneous equation involving a linear and a nonlinear um, you know, equation. So this is a type of equation which wasn't seen previously. Okay, so here what we have to do is we have to basically use a method of substitution to, to solve this problem. That's the easiest way to deal with it. Okay, the easiest way to do with it is using substitution. So what you can do is you can look to see, I mean, they've really kind of made it very kind for us. They've made X the subject, and you know, X being the subject gives you a nice you know, expression without any fractions. So we could substitute instead of X, what x is equal to into the second equation. So we have this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So we can put, say, x equals 7 minus 3y, put that into equation 2 instead of the x. So instead of the x, you're going to write 7 minus 3y. So that's x squared, so you have to square all of that. Minus y squared equals 39. So now we have an equation which has only y's in it, and we can solve this for y. Okay, so it was nice and easy done for us there. Okay, we well could, if you wanted to, make y the subject. You could have said 3y equals 7 minus x, and y is equal to 7 minus x over 3. But then that will give you some nasty kind of fractions to deal with and square and stuff. So it's much easier to just make the one, like here, yeah, it's already made the subject, but choose the one where you don't have to make a fraction as what you substitute in. That will make your life easier if you have the choice. Now we're going to expand this bracket. Now don't make the mistake, which is so common, of just squaring each of these numbers, like saying 49 minus 9y squared, something like that. No, that's not how you square a bracket. You're going to have a middle term, if you remember. Remember the origin of this is 7 minus 3y multiplied by itself. So you'll have 7 times 7 and 7 times minus 3y and minus 3y times 7 and minus 3y times minus 3y. Okay, so basically what you're going to have is 49 minus, now you're going to have two 7 times th 3 minus 3 y's, as we saw there. Okay, so minus 2 times 7 times minus 3 y, so that's going to be um, minus, that's going to be 2 times minus 42 y. Okay, because 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 7 is 42, minus 42 y, and you're going to have plus... 9y squared, because when you when you square, when you do minus 3y times minus 3y, you get plus 9y squared, and you've got a minus y squared there, and you've got 39. So let's just simplify this. You've got 9y squared minus y squared, which is 8y squared, and you've got minus 42y, and you've got 49, and you're going to have minus 39, because we'll bring everything on this side, which is going to be 49 minus 39 is plus 10, equals 0. Um, this can be simplified before we try to factorize it because everything is divisible by 2. So you're going to have 4y squared minus 4, sorry, 21y minus 21y plus 5 equals 0. Divide everything by 2. Now we have to try to factorize this. So I'm going to use my, my window method, which I like to use. So I'm going to draw a little window here. And I'm going to say, okay, 4y squared is going to go over here, and 5 is going to go over there. So I know that when I multiply these two numbers together, I'm going to get 20y squared, a positive product. And I'm going to get a sum of whatever's in the middle term here, which is minus 21y. So minus 21y is the sum. So I know that the numbers have to have different signs. So one has to be a positive number, and one has to be a negative number. Sorry, I know they both have to have the same sign. What am I talking about? Because the product is positive. Okay, the product is positive, so they must have the same sign. And because you add them together to give you a negative number, they must both be negative numbers. So whenever the product is positive and the sum is negative, that means they have the same sign, both negative. And you think of two numbers multiplied to give you 20 and add to give you 21. Well, it's 20 and 1. 
So it's 20y and minus 1y. Okay, so those two will add to give you minus 21y and multiply to give you 20y squared. So we are, ha we are kind of almost there now. So now we can say, let's take out the common factor from these two terms and write it over here. That's just y. From these two terms, it's 4y. And then y times minus 1 gives me minus y. And 4y times minus 5 gives me minus 20y. So you're left with 4y minus 1 times y minus 5. Some of you will have lots of different ways of factorizing. Some of you split the middle term, which is kind of similar to this, but it's just, I like this visual way anyway. So here you're going to have either 4y equals, or let me not jump the gun here. I'll take it step by step. Either 4y equals 4y minus 1 equals 0, or y minus 5 equals 0. So y is equal to a quarter, or y is equal to 5. Now, when y is equal to, so let's put here y is equal to, let's put 5 first and a quarter second. So when y is equal to 5, let's choose 5 first. Then we know from up here that x is equal to 7 minus 3y. So x is equal to 7 minus 3 times 5, which is equal to 7 minus 15, which is equal to negative 8. And when y equals 1 quarter, x is equal to 7 minus 3 times a quarter, which is 7 minus 3 quarters, which is going to give us, that's 28 over 4 minus 3 over 4, which is 25 over 4. So that's 25 over 4, which you can write, I guess, as 6 and 1 quarter if you want. So there we have the answers to this question. And if you wanted to check to see if you're right, you could substitute these values into both of these two equations to see if they work. Okay, so let's just try the second one. We'll have minus 8, which is 68 squared 64. 64 minus 25. 64 minus 25. It looks right to me. That's going to give you 939. Yeah, that looks right. And let's try the other value in there. You're going to have minus 8 and 5, minus, oh sorry, 25 over 4 and 1 quarter. So you have 25 over 4 all squared minus a quarter squared. Let's see if that works. We could use our calculator for that. You have 25 over 4. One second, let me do it properly. Twenty-five over four squared minus a quarter squared. That gives you thirty-nine as well, and you can do the same thing with the, um, you know, the with this equation. I mean, this equation should work because we used it to find the other values. So you can see that it works. So we have the solutions to this question, or to this uh, to this pair of simultaneous equations and as I said this is something new in the syllabus so it's something you need to practice you won't find any questions like this in any of the past papers this will be the first pa past paper you'll find it all the past papers after 2020 you'll find them in but the ones before that you won't find this topic in there you'd have to take it from other sources to practice from previous papers um, so thank you for watching the other questions from this paper will be in the playlist over here questions about um uh, this is going to be under quadratics i guess maybe i'll make another playlist sometime but under quadratics for now although this is not quadratic it will be there'll be a playlist over here for that and here you're going to have uh, an icon to subscribe to the channel and a card up here to to go to the paper for once it's sorted out so thank you for watching and see you soon